everybody doing today? Clint the audio guy here just thought I'd show you my my computer system what I'm using for my audio uh, on the computer and uh, so this is what I got um, using the totem rainmakers on uh, iso acoustic stands these are pretty cool they uh, angle the speakers up so you don't get that uh, initial bounce off of the desk surface um, they uh, also reduce vibrations and they only allow the speaker to vibrate in one direction and they resist the other way so they're supposed to clean up sound staging and improve imaging substantially um, there's definitely a difference there's another video on YouTube about the iso acoustic stands where they uh, they definitely uh, uh, get rid of that bounce off of the desk surface. That's a big improvement, and you can hear it. You can hear it through the microphone of whatever they're recording. Uh, this is just my cell phone, so no fancy recording here. Um, but to power the speakers, I am using the Sony. Uh, this is the uh, HAP S1 H A P S1. It's a music server that's got. Uh, uh, 500 gigs of hard drive space so you can store music on there I'm actually using it as an amplifier to power the rainmakers uh, and it's been on continuously for a couple years and it's uh, works great um, plus it sounds really good for uh, for music the music that's stored on it occasionally I'll play music off of it but most of the time it's uh, it's just an amplifier to power the rainmakers for stuff like this, especially this sounds amazing on it. Um, over here I got the new uh, new Eclipse Heritage headphones with the uh, wood ear cups. Clips really stepped it up, and this is the factory Clips stand. Clips really stepped it up with these, the HP threes, open back wood ear cups, really comfortable. They got the leather uh, cushions. Uh, it's a really nice headphone that uh, that superseded uh, one of my previous references. Uh, so awesome headphone. Comes with that stand in a fancy wood case. Uh, Pop-up ads. <laughs> anyway, the Soprano is pretty amazing. Um, here we got uh, RAID uh, battery backup from Western Digital duplicates my data I I forget how many terabytes that is that's at least four terabytes but I back up all my photos to that I don't back up everything but the photos are not replaceable so I have them backed up in like four different places uh, of course the SOG Trident Tanto can't forget that this is my standby focus focus uh, this is my standby for uh, opening letters and it's really sharp, even to this day, I've never sharpened it, but uh, I mostly uh, just cut paper and like plastic and stuff. Um, here we have the Philips Hue, let's get the exposure right there, Philips Hue Hub. This controls my color changing lights up in my stereo system upstairs. This is a Sonos Bridge, um, which uh, I haven't hooked up yet, but uh, it's new. I just, uh, it's been, it's actually discontinued. Now they have one called the Boost. Um, I want to get my Wi Fi or my Sonos products, which I have around the house, uh, off of my Wi Fi because I think, I think I'm having some kind of conflict or like not enough bandwidth to the TVs for the smart features. And I want to free those up because I'm streaming 4K. That sounds great. This is available on high res too, by the way. Um, fantastic song. It's, uh, there you go. I don't even know how you say that. Magnificat. Great, uh, let's pause the video and you can find it. Great video for uh, audio demos. Um, but it's also available on high-res downloads. 
Uh, I got uh, a pretty nice router a wife for the Wi-Fi in the house. Um, my own modem that passes pretty high bandwidth. Those cables back there, I uh, it's a braided cable from Ixos company, a British company that uh, went out of business a while ago. But uh, I put the braid on them and I put the boots and some uh, gold bananas to finish them off. Uh, but I've been using them for a long time. Uh, we used to sell them years ago. And of course the Totem Rainmaker. Uh, these speakers are fantastic. Uh, lots of bass extension. So I have a subwoofer. The Totem Kin Sub, and you can see right now it's in the box. Since I moved I haven't actually hooked it up because these speakers do such a good job at bass extension. Especially when we're talking like I'm 20 inches from these things. I sit right in front of these so uh, I don't really need for uh, for much more than that. Uh, anyway, it's my little Gigabyte mouse. I keep buying new ones of these because they fit my hand. I've been using these forever. And uh, these pads, they come unstuck after a while. But the mouse still works, so I just have to keep like putting the pad back on. The adhesive just breaks down on them. And there's the tower. Uh, it's a... Uh, I got an 8 core AMD processor in there. A pretty decent video card as of three years ago. Every every about three years I update something major on it, like the video card um, or the processor. And if I do the processor, I have to do the motherboard because the socket changes, that kind of thing. But we've got uh, 12 gigs of RAM. Uh, there's a total of 12 terabytes of hard drives. There's three hard drives in there. I got the external back up up on top there. And that's it. This is, and of course my AK-47 in the corner there. <laughs> Everybody needs one of those. Uh, the uh, tin whistle here. This is a Irish tin whistle in D. This is like the cheapest instrument you can buy. It's a couple dollars. And... Uh, it's fun to just play around with that. So when I'm uploading a video to YouTube, because it takes so long, sometimes I'll just uh, blow a few notes on that puppy. <laughs> anyway, it's cool to make some music sometimes. So that's my setup. Uh, I'm going to be moving this to my office, but my office was getting renovated, so right now I just got it in a room in the basement. Uh, it's a 27 inch monitor. Uh, I had a 43, but on this desk, this is actually too close. The 43 is huge, and it would go almost from that speaker to that speaker. Uh, so I mounted that one in the guest room, and I'm back to the 27. Uh, I think a 32 might be the perfect size. Uh, I've got one at work, and it's really nice. Uh, that's a Santa's desk mount, so it articulates, it, it'll pull out, and it can angle. Um, but uh, you have your desk surface free, so uh, it tilts as well. But anyway, didn't want to go too long-winded here. Sorry if I bored you, but uh, just figured I'd show you what uh, Clint the Audio guy is using. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.